there's a veto for a secret square meeting that the board of trustees had and they had a secret square meeting at the park district it's a shame that it's black on black crime i'm already got a lot of racial stuff that come my way but it's a shame when i gotta fight my own people you get people attacked you get people um doing crazy stuff and y'all forget the actual mayor i am the first i'm the first female youngest mayor of dalton i'm here to tell you right now we don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. If it's something that you're upset about, just know that it did not get done like this overnight and it's not going to get fixed overnight. It's going to take time to fix what you guys feel is broken. Internet and people, especially my board meetings, can say whatever. But at the end of the day, we grew here. They flew here. And I get attacked because I cannot and will not be controlled by people that thought I was young or naive and thought that they can walk over me. Because people think that y'all going to get away with all the defamation of character and all the negativity stuff. The world know who I am for that matter. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. So welcome to YouTube. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for the village of Dalton. I hope that you can get this woman arrested or friggin' locked up in jail or something. You going to jail? You, you going, going to jail? Because she got to go. She got to go bad. But um, let's get into this video and I'll talk a little more at the end. That I do so much more than what you see in headlines. Uh, for instance, free, 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 free. We do pay your bill. So if you're struggling, you need help with your light, your gas, your water. He even just stated burial assistance because people are dying left to right. And what I mean by that is you here today, gone today. It ain't here today, gone tomorrow. So majority of the time when you guys come to me, um, it's too late. You guys wish you would have made it right with your loved one, said you're sorry, or just made All I'm saying to you is just start now it shouldn't be that it turned to a new year for you to make something right just make it right because you found it in your heart to do something better than what you used to do uh encouraging words are good for this year it's good for the soul because at the end of the day can't nobody fix it but you you have to fix what you feel is broken if you feel something's not going right in your community you can always reach out and we will try our best to get to whatever that is and then do better if it's something that you're upset about, just know that it did not get done like this overnight and it's not going to get fixed overnight. It's going to take time to fix what you guys feel is broken. What I'm trying to show you is that you've been neglected for so many years that I need you to know what love feels like and look like. And that's what I oppose. I send love and show it and I take care of the people no matter what. I don't care what poison people put out there. Y'all live here. They don't. Internet and people, especially my board meetings, can say whatever. But at the end of the day, we grew here. They flew here. And for, for that saying, I need you to see that my work speaks for itself. And then I show you videos so you can see with your own two eyes instead of somebody coming to tell you what we're doing. You can see and then you judge a person. Don't judge people off of hearsay or what somebody say or think they're doing and don't got no facts to what they're putting out. But it's sad because when you do things like that, guys, you you get people attacked. You get people um, doing crazy stuff. And y'all forget, I am the first. I'm the first female youngest mayor of Dalton. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. And then I'm also the first female African-American supervisor of the largest township. Whoop-dee-doo. Whoop-dee-doo. Yeah. Whoop-dee-doo. And I get attacked because I cannot and will not be controlled by people that thought I was young or naive and thought that they can walk over me. That is not going to happen, ever going to happen. And y'all know that. So people got to go and do a spin cycle, a smear campaign, because they can't beat me. Letting you know, they can't. So they have to go and try to defame my name by putting out mess and poison. And that's the sad thing about it. When I'm the only one that's loving on you. Y'all yeah, been watching the news. Y'all yeah, been seeing what's been going on with uh, T.D. Jakes and all of that. What he say? They trying to kill me while I'm trying to help y'all. It's the same situation. They trying to damage my character when I've done nothing but for years but love on the people and show y'all that. So when y'all hear things or, or think of things, come and get the facts. Come and get receipts before you judge because people can make videos and that's the problem. They hating, but they taking notes though, right? I make videos, y'all make videos, right? So y'all really taking a lesson from me. I know I ain't gonna get my, my um, due for it, but I'll take it as flattery. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Next.
So all I'm saying to you is like, come on, guys, we got to do better. We have to do better. And all I can tell you is that I'm a, I am a fighter and y'all know that. So when you come for me, no, be prepared for the fight, because at the end of the day, they talked about Jesus Christ. So why don't I think y'all are not going to do me the same way? Somebody that's healing y'all and helping y'all. Same thing I'm over here doing, right? Healing and helping. It isn't God, it's just your pride. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say, man. Don't, don't mention none of this stuff about Jesus. Don't mention none of this stuff about... Listen, whether it's things you should be doing or things you shouldn't be doing, people love to evoke God to remove their own agency in a lot of situations or their own responsibility. You don't want to admit your pride, so you just use God as a shield. People just use that to sometimes abdicate their own responsibilities in situations. I don't, I don't rock with it. But yet y'all don't even see it because you're so blind to, to what the negative is that you don't even see the positivity that's before you. And you've seen them are true testaments. There's no test, right? Without a test, you got a testimony. You got to have a test. So all I'm saying is you see true people that's talking to you on the camera about never seen nothing like this done ever in Dalton, ever. You never seen a mayor. You got kids saying they want to be a mayor. They know who Tiffany Injured is. The man, the world know who I am for that matter. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. So welcome to YouTube. Yeah, I said welcome to YouTube. Hey, welcome to YouTube. Because you opening other doors. Was to put my name on tables that you never would have thought it would have been. So I appreciate it. But at the same time, now it's time to clear up the mess because people think that y'all going to get away with all the defamation of character and all the negativity stuff. You've seen me do none of that to any of them. None of it. Because I don't play like that. I'm busy. I'm too busy working. And that show you that people are really, really geared up by people's salary. That's sad because I didn't know how much nobody made. I ran because I care and I just wanted to fix my town. Didn't care about the salary. Why? Because any of y'all that know me know you know that I am a business person. Business person. Had everything I got before politics. Well, uh, politics. Everything. It's a shame that it's black on black crime. I'm already got a lot of racial stuff that come my way. But it's a shame when I got to fight my own people. It's like, dang, every night I got to fight to prove my love. Why? When y'all know I care. I've shown you that. You've seen that. Y'all know this. These are facts. People that don't live here don't know what goes on in Dalton. They don't know where y'all come from and where we are today. She deserves nothing. Don't have an attitude that you are entitled in this world. You are not. You deserve nothing else. You earn it. You can't stand here and cry. I have no, 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 no crying children. Not. Well, if you yell at me, I'm going to cry. Get out. Go. That's why you hear everybody testimony saying, hey, you're the only mayor that have done this. I've been begging for this for 30 years, 40 years. That's how long I've been here. I've never seen anything that I've come hitting the ground running, making sure I provide everything that you ask of me. You guys say you want more sidewalks done. You guys say you want street repayment, alleys, fixed tree trim. I go get it. But it's shameful that the board, when you get here, they got to shoot down. I go get grant money and bring it back. And all they have to do is vote for the money, meaning a resolution. We went in, uh, uh, what we got, $600,000 to build a water park right there on Greenwood Falls. Why our communities can't have the same thing that we all run to? We all take our money out of our community, everybody, because we don't have nothing here to choose from. But I said, enough of that. We're going to make something to choose from. We're going to have restaurant row, 10 sit-down restaurants. Who don't want that? You got a three-story restaurant getting built right there off of uh, Lincoln and Sibley. Come on, all glass, elegant stuff. Who don't want that? You got your own ice rink, skating rink, your own basketball courts, your own areas where you can have a family reunion or a gathering for you and your family. Who don't want that? People, wake up. You got to want more than what people telling you are vomiting in your ear. You have to. But it starts with you. You have to make that change today. Don't wait. Make the change today. So with that being said, 
I just wanted to talk to y'all about all the things I had going on and all the things I've been doing for the community. So I just want to leave you with that because this is Mayor's Report. And I'm going to move forward so we can get through our agenda and our board package because we got a lot of stuff to talk about this evening. But I wanted to give you some positivity before we start our board meeting because it always starts positive, but it always go left. Because at the end of the day, state facts. Don't lie up here. State facts. All right. Next on the agenda, mayor's veto. So there's a veto for a secret square meeting that the board of trustees had. And they had a secret square meeting at the park district. Um, anyone that knows how government works, uh, you guys are a violation of Open Means Act. It's more than two, three, four, you guys, it's considered a quorum. You cannot and should not be having secret squirrel meetings. Uh, it's a shame that the board of trustees left the board meeting uh, that was scheduled that Monday and went to have their own look fake mayor, he, I guess he want to be called mayor so bad, meeting uh, that Tuesday with the same exact agenda that we had on Monday. Make it make sense, y'all. You could have handled the same business here that you wanted to go have at your fake meeting that you should have had here when the entire body was here. Myself, the actual mayor, and also the two trustees, Trustee Stan Brown, Trustee Andrew Holmes. The clerk even involves herself by getting in the mess when she's supposed to be a neutral factor in it all. For those that don't understand how the parlor tricks works, you always stay neutral because there's no side. Your job is to do your job, not follow nonsense. So with that being said, uh, I am vetoing their meeting. Next, we have village clerk's report. All right. No report. No, why not? Been off a long time. All right, next, get uh, the paid attorney out. Uh, is there a motion to go to closed session? Motion. Is there a second? <coughs> second. Oh, yeah. Sorry, just uh, <clears throat> for the record, the, me the reason for the closed session is discussion of litigation. All right. There's been motion and second. Please follow up. Yeah. Um, I'd like to move the executive session to the end of the meeting for the sake of the residents' time. It's getting darker early. <coughs> I feel as if we should move the executive session to the end. The if we, the if we can get her off our payroll, because y'all did that last time, she had to sit through the entire meeting, but she's still on the clock. Well, as Trustee Belcher mentioned last time, maybe it will be more cost efficient if we ask that the attorneys come a little bit later since we know that we probably won't start to seven. And then we're going to do this for an hour before we get to executive session. So that's already eight o'clock. So, well, it's a motion and a second on okay. the floor to go to closed session. If you okay. guys don't want to go, then that's the answer. So can you please follow up? Yeah. If this woman would just shut her mouth and just, you know, Take some constructive criticism and don't spend the entire city's money on whatever you're trying to say that you're spending it on. If you have all this information, oh, you got $6.5 million or whatever it is that you were saying you got, why don't you just put up the receipts? Why don't you give the public? Why don't you make videos saying, hey, here's the receipts and here's how you can get them? Because it's not working trying to get a hold of you about records or FOIA requests or whatever you want to call them up there. You don't listen. You don't answer phone calls, return phone calls. Nobody at the adult village of Dalton picks up their phone except for the trustees. I've spoken to the trustees. And for some reason, you cannot pick up the phone. So, yes, we are going to keep putting you on YouTube because you are an evil person. And if you don't know, guess what? There was another one, another first black mayor in Michigan, and this is what happened to her. Of East Point is charged tonight in a case of alleged corruption involving COVID relief funds. So yeah, you want to keep going down the rabbit hole? I hope that you enjoy your six, eight by six cell or whatever the size of it is. And I hope you realize that eating at Ruth's Chris and all those fancy restaurants and staying at the fancy hotels and the first class tickets, I hope you enjoyed it because when you lose all those freedoms, just like you got arrested the last time back in 2016. So as you can see right here, this is the mugshot. She was arrested July 20th, 2016 and released a day later. 
so yeah, I, I don't know what else to tell you. I would just shut up and I would probably watch my P's and Q's. But the more you talk, the more we're listening. So don't forget to hit that like, share, and that subscribe button, all that good stuff. And leave a comment down below and tell me what you think this, what should happen to this mayor. So I'm out. Soliacker. Deuces.